Apocalypse Gaming. Hi guys, sorry I've not been posting. Along with myself, the entire family here has had the flu. Um, so we've not been too well at all in here. Um, the times that I have been feeling a wee bit better whilst I was off on the Christmas holidays, I made myself a new paint carousel, which I'll show you on the rest of the video how to make. But this is the finished product next to my old carousel. Now the reason we've done this is we wanted one to hold all our Vallejo collection, which was beginning to grow and begin to lie around the place. So made this one slightly differently from the this old one. Um, you'll see the, the ideas behind that. A couple of issues we're finding initially, and it may just be the, the newness of the, the carousel itself, is yes it turns, but every now and again it jams up. Now that did happen to this one as well, but this one as you can see, now turns sweetly. It just took some time for it to bed in and find, find its, its groove. So hopefully, it's the same idea with this one. However, as you'll discover when you watch the video, I used a different method for turning the carousel round. It may be that, I don't think it's that, but it may be what I've got the carousel turning on that might be the issue. One other issue we've had is if we turn it too heavy, the paint pots do fall over. So until it beds in, that might be an issue. If it continues to be an issue, I might need to look at some form of redesign. Um, to see what we can do about it, but otherwise, that's a finished product. If you want to see how I made it, watch the rest of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. First area for you to clamp guys is the centre portion, clamp and let that dry, once you've done that take your edging rim and clamp them down too. So a little bit of glue all the way around the edge and clamp them until dry. Centre first, edge second, that way it allows you just to line up everything and make sure it's absolutely bang on because if you're making it nice and neat to fit just the width of the pots that you're going to use, that's important. Okay guys, what I'm going to show you here is the method I'm going to use for turning the carousel this time round. Last time round, what I showed you to use was the inside of a microwave, the bottom turning part. This time round, I've opted for marbles. So, cut a channel, same way as I've cut a channel for the paints. And in that channel, I've poured lots of marbles. Picked these up in a charity shop for 50 pence. So again, it's all about keeping the costs down. Set that on top, and what we should now get... Something for it to turn on. So, again, something that you should be able to emulate quite cheaply. So, moving on to the next step. Take your centre blocks, which are going to be your spacers between your levels of the carousel. Um, the size of blocks I've used, I'm going to be using two just to space it. And I'm putting them both together and I'm going to clamp it down. 
and the glue I'm using for this entire project is No More Nails Express Wood Adhesive. I sanded down all the edges so it's nice and smooth on edges all the way around on the outside so it's a much neater finish than the previous carousel. The last one never got that treatment because my electric sander was broken, I was no way doing that by hand. <laughs> 